This is in West Africa, where it's been two weeks since the Western Bank government of President Mohamed Bazoum was ousted in the nation of Niger. The military leaders have, of course, taken charge of the country. And since then, two other countries, Burkina Faso and Mali, have come out in open support of this coup. In the latest, delegations from both sides have paid a visit to Niger. They met with a coup leader and also gave all assurances under the sky. So what is uniting these three nations? Now, the answer lies in geography and colonial history. So let's take these aspects one by one. Now, look at this map. This, of course, is the coup belt. There is Niger, there's Mali, there's Guinea, there's Burkina Faso, Chad, and Sudan. So what's common amongst these nations is that they're all living under military rule at this moment. But there's also another thing. Except for Sudan, all these other nations were once colonized by France. And the anti-French sentiment has poured out in pretty much every coup that you've been witnessing that has taken place in these nations. I would like to remind you that Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger have been dealing for over 10 years with the negative socio-economic, security, political and humanitarian consequences of NATO's hazardous adventure in Libya. Of course, we ask ourselves, if it took us 10 years, how many years would it take us to get over another adventure of the same nature in Niger? Now, France was forced to depart once these nations, of course, fought back. But long after that, France still has its roots in the Sahel region. And Niger is no exception. On paper, Niger obtained, obtained its independence from France in 1960. But since there are French air bases that are stationed across Niger, Paris is calling these air bases, these French military air bases, as absolutely essential in fighting what it dubs as Islamist insurgents. But the local people in Niger say that there is very little that's been achieved by the French. And the reason why the French really are in Niger is for the raw materials that they are getting out of the country. And the chief among them, the key amongst them, is uranium. Now, this is an ore that is vital for the French nuclear industry. Niger is the world's seventh biggest producer of uranium. And interestingly, it's also the second biggest exporter to France after Kazakhstan. So what happens to the trade now? Now, France has said that the export halt will not be harming the country, but, the, but experts say that it will. Now, Niger may mark a different phase in regional politics and as pro-Western leaders fall like rows of dominoes, there's something that's in fact coming in from the east. And this is, of course, the Russian charm offensive. And what you'll increasingly look at unfold in Niger is the fact that this is now very quickly turning into a battleground for competing forces such as the Russian Wagner mercenaries and the Western powers who are trying to retain their control in these regions of West Africa. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.